Hi everyone, I'm driving a Mercedes ML 270 CDI uh, 2004 and I'm experiencing a problem with this car. Uh, it won't go over 3000 RPM and also the, the kickdown function uh, is not working as you can see. Pedal is all the way down, up to the kick down button and the car won't, won't go over 3000 RPM and you, you won't shift down the gears and uh, I'm gonna attempt to fix this problem in the car so one of the first things I, I suspected of was the, the mass airflow sensor which stays by the airbox near the front of the engine on the left hand side so first thing I tried I disconnected the, the mass airflow sensor went for a drive it made no difference same problem when I got back I removed the sensor which is very easy there's only two Torx screws one here and one at the top I removed it and I cleaned it put it back together went for a drive no difference so the third thing I did was I um, I checked the voltage uh, on the at the at the pin five on the connector with the engine running. It's easy; you can just remove this. You just remove that, and you have access. You see the, the pins are numbered in here. Check the voltage on pin five. I checked the voltage. It was reading like 0 0.070 millivolts it made no difference made no difference when i uh when i accelerated the engine so even even before i got the car scan i was pretty sure that uh, the master flow sensor was uh was not working another thing that can cause this problem is uh, the EGR either because the diaphragm is ripped and it's not holding vacuum in there so it's not operating the valve or because the valve might be blocked by the sooth uh, very easy to check, you just pop this clip out you, you pop these soles off and you can see the sensor, you can apply vacuum to the, to the EGR valve which is this one in here, you can disconnect this, apply vacuum and see if the valve is still moving. Uh, another thing that can cause this problem is this, uh, is this guy right here, which is the, the map sensor. There's also the kick down switch, which stays under your accelerator pedal in here. Mine was not working, I had a look at it. It was stuck. It was stuck down. This is a pretty simple sensor. It uh, just take it off. It's pretty much just opens and closes the the circuit between those two wires. And uh, when is the up position? The circuit is open. When you press it down, it closes the circuit and tells the and applies the the kick down function in the in the gearbox. Mine was that was all the way down. I I repaired it, but I'm not happy with this, so I, I'm going to install a new one anyway. But uh, sometimes what can happen. It can get stuck on the down position. I just took it apart and I fixed it. This one is working. I tested with a multimeter. I yeah. I checked on the. I checked the ohms reading in the sensor, and uh, pretty much the circuit is open when it when it's like this, and when you close it, the circuit closes. So this is now working. But just to be on the safe side. Because I'm not sure if this is going to break again. I just ordered a new one. And I'm going to install it. So now I ordered. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is. I, I'm ordering 
a master flow sensor and I'm gonna replace it and see if that fixes the problem and uh, I'm gonna go from there so just stay with me and uh, let's fix this problem the new master flow sensor just arrived uh, I didn't buy off the dealer because they wanted uh, about a hundred pounds for it but I did bought the original one the original part is this uh, Pierburg uh, 7.22684.07.0 this is the exact same sensor that Mercedes uses this is the this is their supplier the only difference is that it doesn't have the star symbol on the sensor but this is the exact same part that Mercedes sells and I got it for uh, 50 pounds of uh, Amazon I will leave the link in the description if you guys want and uh, you can save 50, 50 pounds because it's the exact same sensor that they sell at Mercedes for half the price Right, you're gonna need the T20 Torx to get these two screws out. You got the connector out like this. Get these two screws out. Attention to the arrows. This is the, the direction of the airflow. Obviously, the airflow goes from the airbox to the engine, so the arrows must be pointing in this way. Get it in there. Press it in. Line up the holes. Get the two screws in there. Try not to drop them in the engine bay. I need to lean on this because it's only plastic. Just a little bit is enough, it's not going anywhere. Don't forget to put the connector back on. That's it. That's it guys, oh, only just now had time to uh, come test the car. The car is now working properly. It is pulling past 3000 RPM. I'm gonna step on the gas all the way. That's it. The car is now pulling very well. And that's what we wanted. The problem is fixed now. Once again. a little heads up guys wait if you go to replace your kick down switch don't don't go prying it like that because you're gonna break the clips what you have to do is just get your finger under there you feel where the clips are yeah and then you go from the inside and pry like that you find where they are and you go from here and you have to pry like this to get it out and I'll show you the reason why as you, as you can see these little barbs 
are holding the inside are holding on the inside in there so if you try to pry it out from here they are not gonna go anywhere as you can see so what you gotta do is so what you wanna do is come like this and push that thing out to remove it without breaking it otherwise I guarantee you you're gonna be breaking this then all you have to do in here as you can see and on the top you have this little plastic pieces in here so you just grab both ends once you squeeze this you're gonna lift it up like that Boom. and then you just have this connected on the back pull it out Boom. and put the new one in there that's it, new sensor in there Plastic, plastic cover back in there the sensor is working as you can see as I said, job's done